Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to work with perimeter again, and we're going to work with word problems. So our learning goal says, I can solve a variety of word problems with perimeter. Now, some of you might be like, yeah, I got this. I could do it, no problem. And then some of you see those words that say word problems, and you start to get a little nervous. You start to doubt yourself a little bit. But you know what, friends? You guys have some great skills with perimeter. So the big thing with word problems is just taking your time and making sure you're reading through the problem carefully so you're solving all of the information that's being asked, okay? So I know you guys can do it. We're actually going to walk through several of the problems together today, so it'll be awesome, okay? So the materials that you need for this lesson are the first page of your problem set because we're going to do these first few problems together, okay? So make sure you grab that before we get started. All right, friends, so let's take a look at problem one. The question says, Gail makes a miniature stop sign, a, rectang a regular octagon with a perimeter of 48 centimeters for the town he built with blocks. What is the length of each side of the stop sign? So we're going to use the RDW process to help us. Okay, so we want to read, read the problem. We want to draw and label, and we want to write number sentences, and a statement. So those are all things that are going to help us to be able to kind of like unpack these word problems and figure out what are they asking me to do, what picture can I draw to help me, and then what equation am I going to use to help me solve it. Okay, so be thinking about these three steps as you're looking at these problems. Okay, so what can we draw to help us solve this problem? If we look back, what is it talking about with shapes in this problem? Yeah, we can draw an octagon, right? Because it's telling us a regular octagon. Well, we know that an octagon has how many sides? It has eight sides, right? Like an octagon is like an octopus, right? That helps, that's what helps me remember how many sides for an octagon, okay? So I want you guys to pause the video. You're gonna draw an octagon on your paper for number one, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, so we can draw an octagon to help us, okay? So here's your octagon. You should have eight sides on your octagon. If you don't, you need to pause the video and double check that real quick before we keep going, okay? All right, so now we're gonna write an equation and solve this problem, okay? So I want you guys to try this part on your own. We're gonna go over it together like we always do, but I want you to give it a shot on your own. So let's think about this problem again, okay? So it said, Gail makes a miniature stop sign, a regular octagon with a perimeter of 48 centimeters for the town he built with blocks. Okay, so we drew a model of our octagon of our stop sign, okay? We know that the total perimeter is 48 centimeters. We have to find out what is the length of each side of the stop sign, okay? So in a regular octagon, what do we know about all of the sides? All of the sides are what? Yeah, they're equal, right? So if we know that all of the sides are equal, what do we have to do with that 48 centimeters, that perimeter, to find out how many um, the length of each of the eight sides. So I want you to pause the video. I want you to write an equation on how you would solve this problem. Then you need to solve it and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so I came up with 48 divided by eight equals S. And I said 48 centimeters because that's the total perimeter. I divided it by eight because there's eight equal sides in an octagon. And I used a letter to represent the unknown for this. I said it's S for side, okay? That's just what I wanted to use. Now, I have to solve now for S, right? So 48 divided by eight. What's 48 divided by eight, friends? Yeah, it's six, okay? So 48 divided by six or 48 divided by eight equals six. Well, uh-oh, what is missing, friends? I'm missing something. Do you guys know what I'm missing? Oh yeah, we need the unit, right? Centimeters, I was missing the unit of measure. 
Okay, remember we've talked about in the past. This could have been six cats, six dogs, six inches, six yards, six miles. I don't know. But in the problem, it tells us centimeters. So when it gives us the unit, you need to make sure that you are labeling the unit in your answer. We could also have labeled that as cm for centimeters. Okay. All right. So whew, glad we caught that one. Okay, so friends, after you finish solving each word problem, you want to think about the following. So here are some things that you can kind of get your mind going. And these things will help you kind of validate and explain if your answer is reasonable uh, to match the problem. Okay, so you can think to yourself, I reread the question to remind myself that it asks for. And then you would look at the question again to see what is it asking for. You could also say my answer matches the question or my answer matches what the question asks because we could say the units of my answer make sense because, oh, and that one would have been a great one to catch what I just did because I even forgot the units. So I wouldn't have been able to fill in that question, that blank, because I didn't even write the units. Okay, and then another one is, I know my answer is neither too big nor too small because, and then my answer would not make any sense if it was, blank because blank. So you could fill in some of those blanks to help you think through these problems. Okay, so this is a great point to be able to go back and kind of review these parts after you answer each question. Okay. All right, so now let's look at problem two. Travis bends wire to make rectangles. Each rectangle measures 34 inches by 12 inches. What is the total length of wire needed for two rectangles? So I want you to think about the problem, think about what you can draw to help you solve this problem, and then I want you to write an equation and solve. So for this one, you're kind of doing all of these parts on your own first, and then we're going to come back together to talk about it, okay? So remember, go back and reread that problem so you can see what is it asking you. Okay, it's asking you to find the total length of wire needed for two rectangles. It's telling you in there what shape you should be drawing. They're not making you guess this time. Okay, it says Travis bends wire to make rectangles. So that's what your shape should look like. Okay, they give you the measurements. They want you to know what is the total perimeter. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. You're creating a drawing, you're writing an equation, and you're solving the problem. Okay, so pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here we go. So here's my rectangle. I'm going to label the side lengths, 12 inches. Okay, we know that opposite sides are equal. And then 34 inches. So again, opposite sides are equal. Well, we know because we've been working with perimeter for so long, and it's like we're experts with perimeter, that all we have to do is add those numbers together to find the total perimeter, okay? So I'm gonna start with my larger numbers first of 34 plus 34. So I would know that four plus four is eight, and then three plus three is six, okay? Now I need to go to 12 plus 12, okay? So 12 plus 12, there it is. Two plus two is four, and one plus one is two. Oh, well, I'm not done yet, right? Because I need to combine both of those. Okay, so, so far I found the, the total of both of the lengths and the total of both of the widths. Now I have to combine both of those to be able to find the total perimeter. So that would be 64 plus, or 68 plus 24, okay? So in the ones place, eight plus four is 12. So that is two ones and one ten. Then I come to my tens place and I add those. So six plus two is eight plus one more is nine. So Travis needs 92 inches of wire. Did I get it? Oh wait, hang on here friends. Remember those, those prompts that I said that like fill in the blank? Like I have to go back, is my answer reasonable, right, for this? Well, the question says, what is the total length of the wire needed for two, uh, two rectangles? Oh, silly Mrs. Walker. I totally forgot that they said two rectangles. Okay, so I got to kind of take a step back, right? I got to look at this problem again a little bit. But the good news is I've already done so much work because the second rectangle looks the same, right? So I already did all that hard work of finding the perimeter of the first rectangle, well, the second rectangle has the same dimensions. It's still 34 by 12. So 
all I have to do is add the perimeter of the first rectangle and the perimeter of the second rectangle, which are equal to each other. So 92 plus 92. Oh, okay. Whew. I thought I was going to have to do so much more work, but nope. I already did all the hard work. Okay, so now we add in the ones place, 2 plus 2 is 4. And in the tens place, 9 plus 9 is 18. So Travis needs 184 inches of wire. Okay, how'd I do that time, friends? Did I get the total length of wire for two rectangles? Yeah, I sure did. Okay, Whew. all right, good thing we went over that together because I might have made that mistake if we didn't talk about it. Okay, so it's always good to go back and check your work and really think about, am I answering this question? All right, so let's jump to problem three. It says the perimeter of a rectangular bathroom is 32 feet. The width of the room is eight feet. What is the length of the room? Okay, so I want you guys to think about what you can draw to help you solve this problem. And then you're gonna write an equation and solve. Now remember, they're telling you the shape of what you need to be drawing. They're giving you the perimeter of the shape and they're giving you one of the side lengths. So now you have to find the other side length. Okay, so pause the video, draw, write an equation and solve and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here we go. So here's my rectangle. We know that the width is eight feet, okay? So now opposite sides are equal, so I can label both of those. Well, I don't know the length, so I'm gonna leave those as a question mark, okay? Now, in my problem, I have 32 and eight, so I, I know it's not gonna be multiplying those because that would be way too big. So I'm just gonna divide them. I'm gonna do 32 divided by eight, and I know that that equals four. So I'm gonna label these sides as four. Now, what I need to do here, friends, is I need to check the perimeter, right? So I need to add up all of those numbers because it should equal 32 feet, okay? So now let's try it. So I know that eight plus eight, I'm gonna add the opposite sides first, is 16, and then 16 plus four more would be 20, and then 20 plus four more would be 24. Oh, oh, I gotta try again, right? Because 24 feet, uh, 24 feet is not the same as 32 feet that's listed in the problem. So I got, I must have done something wrong. So I don't know, let's wait, 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 hang on friends. I know, I know, I know what we could do. I can use the strategy we've learned in the previous lessons, right? Where we've divided the perimeter in half and then found the pairs that add up to that. Oh, yes. Okay, so friends, I know how to do this, okay? All right, so we're gonna do 32 divided by two, right? Because we're halving it. Okay, so that might take a little bit of thinking, but that's okay, I can figure it out. 32 divided by two. Oh, oh, I know. It's 16, okay? Now, if that number is too hard for you to figure out, friends, you can do the fair share strategy, right? Draw two little boxes. You could do all like a quick draw on your dry erase board or on your paper, and you could do one, 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 one. You could go like, right, go back and forth until you count up to 32. So it would be one, two, and then go to the other box, three, and then the other box, four. Like keep going back and forth, and you would end up with 16, okay? So... Now that I know that it's 16, okay, I know that the pairs have to add up to 16. Well, one of the sides is eight, it already told me that. So now I need to know what eight plus what equals 16. Oh, that's a doubles fact. Eight plus eight equals 16. Oh my goodness, no way, so it's gonna be eight. So I'm gonna take both these away and I'm gonna see if it's eight. Okay, now I have to check my perimeter, right? Just like we did before. So really these are, all of them are eight all the way around. Oh, so my drawing is actually a little bit off because if, if this is correct, this should be a square, right? All sides are equal, but that's okay. My drawing doesn't have to be perfect or focused more on the math than the drawing. But I can check this by doing eight times four, right? Because all of the side lengths are eight and there's four side lengths. Well, I know that eight times four is 32. So the length of um, the length of the room is eight feet. Yes, because the perimeters match. So that means my side length is 
Correct. Okay, awesome. All right, friends, now I hope that you guys got those three problems correct. But if you didn't, I hope it was super helpful to be able to walk through and talk through these problems together. Okay, so boom, you guys did a great job solving word problems with perimeter. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.